there. Truth. Good, because that's the beer we have. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if you said dare, I'd be like, ah, dare me to drink it by myself. Ah, I got that one good. Um, so this beer is from Treehouse Brewing Company. Uh, it is called Truth. This is their um, pure barrel age imperial stout. It features standout barrels between 18 and 26 months old, masterfully blended to create a stout beauty, beauty elegance, balance, and enjoyability. So they released this beer on Black Friday. <coughs> BTBS. <coughs> I really thought you were having a coughing fit. Nope. <laughs> yeah, they released it on Black Friday. Um, they had to wax the top. That's how you know it's fancy. Yeah, that's, it's going to be good if it's waxed, right? Nope. We've had bad beers waxed. Yep. Okay. Imagine if it just started, like, gushing. Like, well, just like BCBS. <laughs> Was it the 2015? Uh, yeah. Cool. I'll just fill my glass. Jesus, there was no head on that at all. No, Sean, there's no carbonation in this beer. <laughs> there is no carbonation in this beer. It, it feels like what's, heavy. What's it, the ABV on this? This is way more viscous than your normal uh, BCBS. Sip it, savor it, enjoy it with the company of those you love. Look into my eyes. Uh, there's no ABV on this. Yeah, well, that's because it's too high. It says 12 ounces. <laughs> that's all it says. So, I, it's pitch black. There's no head yep. at all. All you're getting is basically like... Um, like, you know the people that smoke a lot and that the color on their fingers, that yellowy color? That's yes. the color that you're leaving in the glass. Oh, God, yeah. That's gross. <laughs> that's gross. So, yeah, that's all. It's just, it, it's more to oil. It's it really so, is. It's so viscous. I, I haven't seen a beer like this in a while. No. Like, a long time. I've seen, like, when I see beers like this, <laughs> it's been um, mostly like dessert boy beers. Yeah. Not just straight barrel aged beers. Want to get a nose? Let's do it. It's straight brownie batter. Yeah. What, what Mike coughed earlier kind of makes sense. It's, it reminds me of that. Yeah, well. Um, it, and this, it, and this it doesn't have the heat on the nose, though. No. It just smells like... <laughs> Sean, did you say it smells like desserts? It it, like, it's, it's strong, strong chocolate. Like, straight um, fudge. Yeah, fudgy. Um, there's a doughiness to it, like, you know, mm-hmm. like a baker's... Like a bakery kind of a smell. Um, Not little much bit, roast. A little bit of yeastiness. There's a little bit of like a... Like candy bar kind of a deal. Yeah, but also like a, a dark fruit, raisiny barrel type character going on. Like, yeah, um, yeah dark, I guess raisins is, is a good way to put it. Something yeah. like... It's raisiny, pruny. Pruny, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think pruny is a better description. But yeah, it smells amazing. It's a little figgy. Yeah, I mean... Figgy. I think that's figgy. Figgy, I think, is the better than raisin yeah. or prune. Figgy. But it's still, it's still pruny. I mean, I, I'm getting all those things. Yeah. I'm, almost, I'm almost getting a hint of like... Almost a hint of... um. Like chewing tobacco, like the full leaf chewing tobacco, mm-hmm. the red man stuff. Almost a little bit of that. Interesting. It smells. Yeah. It's interesting. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. That mouthfeel. Whoa. What the fuck? All kidding wow. aside, this isn't really BCBS. <laughs> no, it's not at all. It's, this is very oily. Wow. What? Very viscous. It's It's not thick, but it's... Like no, it's thick. No, but I, I mean, I'm not, not like. I mean, it's thick, but it's like it's um, it. You know, it's it's a little bit like cough syrupy. You know what I mean? A little. I I think it's less. I think it's more viscous than cough syrup. It's more no. like it's it, to me. It's almost like the, the it's almost like like Robitussin. Not the taste, but like the way it coats the mouth. It has this like yeah, and the ashiness kind of comes through at the end. But hold on, I gotta back up. This is this is this is interesting. Yeah, it's. It's interesting. If anyone watches, and I, I, I didn't, I, I would have thought of this if I wasn't wearing the hat. Like you betcha, he does like he, he does like ranch reviews. Okay, he, he's, and he does like the viscosity levels. Really? Like, like this is like the viscosity of like some ranch dressings. It's like oh, it is really yeah. yeah. It is like it is very fruity too. You're getting like like a maraschino cherries. Oh, a hundred percent. You know, you're yeah. getting like um, like almost like. Um, you definitely get in figs. You definitely get almost like dates. You know what I mean? That sort of like, you know, dates are somewhere between like, like uh, they're they're almost like fudgy but fruity yeah. in a way. It's it's almost like that. Yeah. It, so the way that this reads originally, I, I read it as it features standout barrels between eighteen and twenty six months. I read it as those were the barrels they y- y- use to like 
age the that wouldn't make sense though. This is eighteen and twenty six months blended stouts, multiple stouts. Okay. Yeah, that that's okay. That makes more sense because this is. Because there's no real roast character. It's all that like fruitiness and the figginess and the and the and the, and the cherries, but then after you stop drinking it and let it kind of sit, then there's a little bit of roast character that kind of sits on the back of your palate. Yeah, like just like slightly overcooked malt almost to let you know you're drinking like a stout. Yeah, but if I was drinking this, like didn't like didn't realize this was stout, I may like think that this this could be like a a, a blend of multiple like maybe like a like a stout, a quad, a strong ale. You know what I mean? Like the way that it's kind of this mouthfeel maybe yeah i mean i don't know how to describe it i don't even know i will say that this is awesome it, it, it the thing is when you, i say something is syrupy i don't mean like this but this is syrupy <laughs> yes I, I couldn't tell you the last time i had something with this mouthfeel before yeah this is i mean now I'm, I, I don't know how to describe something i would have previously described as syrupy yeah now you're gonna be like remember that go back to the truth review that we did of three yeah. the truth that's what we mean by syrupy because this is like you can't even get. You can't even. Like, you, you, even if I put this right in front of the camera, you, we 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 couldn't like no. show you what it is. I used to I used to work at a at a uh, garage, and I I've poured many a quart of oil. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is like five W thirty. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at here. It's really well done. It's it's so fruity. Yeah, it's so fruity. very fruity. It's crazy how fruity this. Does it say anything about the fruit? I I didn't read the 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 second paragraph because it has notes. So here, okay, let's just do the tasting notes. We're gonna do this like a hoppage review. Pouring a ma- um, uh, do I need glasses. Oh, pouring a perfect pouring a motor oil black <laughs> in the glass. <laughs> Truth carries flavors and aromas of chocolate, bourbon, candy. You said candy, mm-hmm. perfect. Mm-hmm. Sweet vanilla like oak. You said barrel. I don't get vanilla that much. Um, Tootsie really. Rolls a bit. and Baker's Chocolate, yeah. There we go. Okay. I didn't say Tootsie Rolls, but like I think all the, the notes we said were... Chocolate, Tootsie Rolls. candy bars. Yeah, yeah Tootsie yeah. Rolls, yeah. Uh, bakery, um, doughy. Yeah. 100%. Well, the Baker's Chocolate's not doughy, but it is doughy. Is that stout or is that water? I don't know. It, it, it's hard to put my finger on it, though, because it's not like really... Anything I've uh, as far as stouts I've had before. It, this this yeah. is very much almost. It's just like like less sweet syrup. <laughs> and we've had our fair share of treehouse stouts. Like and their stouts for me are like always like whenever I have a treehouse stout, I go, oh, I forgot about that. This yeah. is not like those treehouse it's not stouts. That, no, this is another. This is another realm. This is in another. Yeah, it's. I mean. I don't know if everyone would like this, but I think everyone would find it interesting. 100%. Is it one of the most interesting beers I've had in 2022? I can say that because it's only December 31st, but you're definitely going to be watching this in 2023. Yeah. Yes, it is. Would this have gone on our list if we had this? No, but it could have been up there as like one of the most interesting or it could have been like an honorable mention. Yeah, because like, I'm like, dude, remember that fucking beer? Yeah. It, was, <laughs> it was so good, but it's like so like this is, yeah. Yeah, it, it's so candy-like in its syrupiness. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's so weird. It's not offensive. It's just... Yeah. And the fact that it's just a straight stout blended, obviously, from, yeah. from multiple barrels, but... It's so it's so fruity, though. The way that they got this type of character from just like a base stout, base imperial stout mm-hmm. in barrels, like, the, it, it goes to show you what you can do with barrel aging in general, like, and Treehouse has their barrel program on lock, so... They got their Robitussin program unlocked too. Yeah, but oh, overall, like I, I definitely said it, it was awesome in the beginning, and I do love, really like. I, yeah. I, I stand by that. Mm-hmm. What, like, what's your not not like rating, but like, what's your like? I think it's very good. Okay. I don't know how I really feel about it yet because it's it's it it threw me through such a. It and I'm still going through that loop. It threw me through a loop, and I'm still going through it. It's so weird. Like, it's now pretty warm. It's only been out for maybe twenty minutes, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't. It's yeah, it is. It it, it is very candy like to yeah. me. It, you you are getting like it's almost like you're getting elements of like um almost like Three Musketeers. Oh yeah, the, you know what I mean. A, a little bit of like Milky Way because you are getting some caramelly yeah. kind of in notes. It's it's such a this is a candy bar of a beer. 
uh, with a lot of fruit notes without any like legitimate adjuncts. I mean, barrels and adjunct, yeah. I guess. But like, I'm not even getting that much booze. It's not like there's no burn. No, not at all. Like, I wonder what this. I wonder what the ABV of this beer is. Like, I feel like if I got burn out of it, I'd have a, <laughs> a better finger on this. But I feel, I feel like, like I don't know. It's such a weird thing. Yeah, I, I, I it's. It's 4.6 on tap. That's not what I was looking at on tap for. Yeah. 12.3. Okay. But I don't taste it. No. But it's delicious. Yeah. Um, it's very good. It's just... Yeah. It just is. Yeah. Down in the comments, have you had Treehouse's Truth? Are you in the same kind of ballpark as we are? Like, this is a good beer, but it's really, 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 really interesting. Yeah. Like... It's really interesting. Down in the comments, let us know if you've had it. Um, would you think? Would you say that 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 if you get this in a trade, would you trade for this? If you like stouts, if you like barrel aged stouts, blended barrel aged stouts, is this something you think a person that's that into stouts would trade? Yeah, for? I mean, I would trade for it. It just depends on what someone would want. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, like, the problem is that people trade for things that are just goofy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, um, but I would trade for something of similar. Um, monetary value right for sure but yeah anyways yeah like i said down in the comments um thank you everybody for watching nerdsense.net instagram facebook twitter those are things like comment subscribe the notification bell so you're finding posting videos and i'm sean i'm mike and, and this, this is, is nerd sense, sense. Cheers. Cheers,